So that's Lennon Palace, you can see in the distance down there. And we're at uh, Lennon Palace Grounds in Oxfordshire in the United Kingdom. Around us there are lakes, there's a lake over there behind those trees you may be able to see. Another lake over here. But now we are moving uh, rapidly towards, well not so rapidly, we are moving towards the obelisk. And uh, I hope the steadying inside the uh, phone is doing the job well, as I didn't bring, bring my gimbal because it's a cold day and I couldn't be bothered to carry too much as we were going to be inside Blenheim Palace for most of the time. So, I think this is called the Victory Monument. I think that's what they call it. But we'll have a look at it and see what the writing underneath says. We've had a lovely afternoon, or morning and afternoon here. Just had a cream tea. And uh, if you get a privileged membership for the year, you actually get a 15% discount. So we paid less for our cream tea here, this is for cream tea connoisseurs, uh, than we do at National Trust. So well worthwhile and incidentally, you can buy your uh, pass for Blenheim Palace from uh, by using Tesco vouchers. None of these companies are paying me, by the way. And uh, then they will convert it into a, a yearly pass. So it feels like it costs nothing, but when you look at what you've spent to get the vouchers, you've actually uh, spent quite a bit on it. But uh, it's just interesting to note if you have spare Tesco vouchers, you can use them to get a pass for Blenheim Palace. And to be honest, it, the interior is superb. And the Christmas events, which they're already working on, the one for next Christmas, believe it or not, are just excellent. It was Alice in the Palace this year, which was lovely. What a view, looking back across there of the palace. Let's zoom in and have a little look. Look at that view. closer to the obelisk. We'll get as far as this and then we will read what it says and uh, having read it we will go back down the hill again. I don't know who that is on the top there. I wonder who that is up there. you up the hill to this pillar and uh, I can see the label on the front there a little sign telling us what it is sun's going down slowly now well, that's a fairly obvious statement it seems to do that quite a lot walking backwards in an effort to fall over that's good well on the last video you will note I didn't fall in the uh, lake after all I think it might have been a close shave at one stage when a foot went in the uh, rabbit hole but there you go living on the edge my word <laughs> Well, a special thank you for those of you who are watching, anyway, who have managed this far through the video. You're doing really well. There's no prizes, but you have done rather well. There's lots of writing on this, which I am not going to read. I suppose it's people from the First World War, I'm imagining. There he is on the top there. Can you see him? Up the top there. <sighs> Probably somebody of Marlborough because that's the people who lived here. What? We don't want rain. Now, 
Yeah, column of victory. I thought I'd got it right. Now, I'll just go down this. You can stop it if you want to read it, obviously. There we are. So that's the the victory column. And we'll look back. Apparently this is the most wonderful view. Looking back towards that beautiful Blenheim Palace. Isn't that wonderful? And I've got to just say thank you very much for watching. This is Blenheim Palace, Oxfordshire, United Kingdom. And thank you for watching and thank you especially for those who have subscribed or will subscribe. Bye.